Hi, I'm Norman, and today I want to show you how to measure 10 kiloamps. Before we start, let me explain the test setup. Starting from this end, we have a 22,500 microfarad, 450 volt DC capacitor bank with solid state switching. On the side here, we have our uh, charging leads, as well as our uh, control signal cables. We also have our voltage sense leads that leads to our instrumentation. So in terms of instrumentation, I built this small project enclosure with a 50 times voltage divider, as well as a current sensor. Now this current sensor is actually something called a Rogowski coil. It's a flexible current sensor that you can wrap around conductors, which are already installed. So the Rogowski coil produces a voltage proportional current, that's dB by dt, and in order to turn that into a signal as proportional to current flowing th through the conductor, you need an integrator. Now inside this enclosure is the integrator, we have a couple extra buffers and that leads to our oscilloscope. So the blue trace here is the voltage contained inside the capacitor bank while the yellow trace is the current flowing through the conductor. Now you can see here is the voltage drops, you can see the rise in current, the drop in current and then the kickback that's actually caught by that uh, diode. So you can actually see the current waveform and even though the scope isn't calibrated properly that's actually uh, five kiloamps, not one kiloamp per division. So to run this whole test setup, I have this 12 volt power supply running into this voltage and ammeter, which then leads to my custom built capacitor bank charger. Okay, so when I actually want to operate the capacitor bank, I have to turn it on and then switch into charge mode. You can see that the voltage is slowly rising. So now you can see the voltage waveform as it drops towards zero volts and the current waveform spike and drop down. You can see the slight ringing. Okay. So the idea behind this whole experiment is to see what my capacitor bank can do in terms of pulse power. Uh, this experiment is actually trying to inductively crush a soda can. By forcing a large current through this coil of wire, we can actually use the magnetic field created by this coil to induce an eddy current inside the soda can. That eddy current will oppose the magnetic field set up by the coil. Now, since those two magnetic fields oppose and they'll want to move apart, the coil will try and expand, but the soda can will likely try and collapse upon itself. With this test setup, I have an empty soda can and three turns of 14 gauge wire. I've duct taped this together so much because the wires torn itself apart on test runs and more of the energy needs to actually get focused into the soda can. This test run, I'm actually gonna charge up to full power near 450 volts and go for a 10 kiloamp pulse, which is the whole purpose of this video. Okay. So now I'm at uh, 420 volts and I'm gonna go for a test firing. I have set the oscilloscope to capture the uh, resultant waveform. Okay, so here you can see the waveforms captured from the test shot I just fired. The blue trace is the voltage and the yellow trace is the current. Now because the oscilloscope can't go up to the uh, range that I have my instrumentation set up for, this is actually twice the value. So this is about 9, amps or 9 kiloamps peak to peak. And you can see the utility of using a digital oscilloscope to determine the current waveform of a pulse power discharge or trying to do other transient analysis, especially when trying to debug a system. And if you would like to learn more about Tektronics oscilloscopes, you can visit their website at www.tech.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please vote for me. I'd like to thank HackLab Toronto for the use of their digital oscilloscope. And if you want to learn more information about HackLab, you can visit their website at www.hacklab.to. Well, I'm going to swap this for the hard drive coil just for fun now. Ready to fire and firing. Ah. Okay. And firing. Okay, that wire is done. <laughs> wow.